Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Beloved, this is Manifestations of Judah Ministries International. I'm your host, Prophetess Mami Juliana. Hallelujah. And you are watching me live. Hallelujah. Let's bow down our heads before the word of God come true. Hallelujah. Let's bow down our heads and pray and commit this section into the hands of the living God. Father, we thank you for making tonight a day of possibility, a night of your power, of your glory, of your name, in the name of Jesus. We thank you that your glory will be seen. Your power will be seen. Your name will be glorified. In the name of Jesus, we thank you that the power of the blood of Jesus will manifest in the air, in the atmosphere, over every believer, every person. In the name of Jesus, I pray that tonight the sick will be healed, the oppressed shall be set free, the dead will be raised up. Father, we pray that people will hear the word and the word will transform them. The word will bring them peace, will bring them transformation. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we bind every power in the name of Jesus. Anything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, we bind you, we break your powers. In the mighty name of Jesus, we soak the studio in the blood of Jesus, the air, the atmosphere in the blood of Jesus. We speak the blood of Jesus over every person, every viewer, and every home across the earth, across the nations. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Beloved, last week we talked about enduring as a child of God. We talked about the book of James chapter 1, 2 to 4. We talked about the fact that it is very important for you and I to endure hardship as a soldier of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. James chapter 1, verse 4 to 5. We read, uh, we talked about the fact that the Bible says in James chapter 1, verse 4, But let patience have its perfect word, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God. Hallelujah. So the Bible says that patience has its perfect work in our lives. Hallelujah. When we endure, the fruit of the Spirit comes upon now. We're able to mature. We're able to grow. Hallelujah. We also said, uh, we mentioned the book of Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, that our focus must be on Jesus Christ. Our ultimate focus must be on Jesus Christ. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, Jesus Christ is the author and finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. So without him, we cannot do it. Without him, we cannot move forward. Without him, we will not be able to endure. So we need Jesus. We have to look up to Jesus. So when we look up to Jesus, when we walk according to the status of Jesus, when we meditate on the word of God, when we follow the path of righteousness, holiness, the Bible says we will be able to fight the good fight of faith. When we walk in the status of God, when we walk in righteousness, it means that we are trusting God. Faith means that we, are, we, are, we have confidence in our God. Faith means that we trust in our God. So that is what faith means. Hallelujah. When we believe God, when we have faith, it means that we, we trust our God. We trust our maker. That he will never leave us nor forsake us. Hallelujah. So you and I, we have to fight the good fight of faith. Last week, that's what we talked about. Part one of enduring as a child of God. This week, we are going to talk about part two. Part two of enduring as a child of God. Hallelujah. And we are going straight um, to talk about... Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, we are going straight to talk about 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 12. The Bible says in 2 Timothy 3, 12, that indeed all who desire to live godly life in Christ Jesus will, will be persecuted. The Bible says you and I, as we desire to walk in righteousness, will be persecuted. Hallelujah. We'll be persecuted. One way or the other, we will face, um, we'll be, we'll face hardship, we we'll face challenges, we we'll face situations that are uh, you know, unbearable. You and now we we'll face things that you know, we'll, we'll be alarmed. But the Bible says all those who desire to walk in godliness, all those who desire to walk in righteousness, in holiness, all those who desire to follow Jesus Christ, the Bible says there comes a time in one's life, the Bible says you we'll face persecution. Hallelujah. But the Bible assures us that God will never leave us nor forsake us. The Bible reminds us again, Matthew chapter 5 verse 10, that there is blessings in persecution. In the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 10, the Bible says, Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness, for who are persecuted for righteousness sake. For this is the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. So you and I, when we are persecuted, we know the heaven is, uh, is, uh, is, is for us. 
we have eternal glory hallelujah we are we are remembered in heaven we are we are crowned with the crown of uh, um, joy crown of the you know the crown of uh, of God God gives us different crowns hallelujah based on your 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 work with God based on your faithfulness based on your righteousness based on you standing on tall hallelujah based on you focusing on the word of God hallelujah the Bible also tells us God give us strength gives us strength when we go to persecutions hallelujah with us it's not by might nor by power but it's by the spirit of God Zachariah chapter 4 verse 6 hallelujah it's not the strength of horse it's not the strength of any man it is God that will give you the same strength for you to go through the persecution God will give you the same strength to endure that hardship as a child of God, as a soldier of Christ Jesus. God himself will empower you. It will look as if that you are going through that situation by yourself. Hallelujah. But that's what the Bible reminds us in the book of Isaiah, that when you go through the fire, the fire will not burn you, which means that you are not meant to remain in the fire. You are, you are, you are passing through the fire. So God is going to be with you as the situation uh, is unbearable, as the situation seems very tough, as it seems like, you know, everything is crashing on you. The Bible says that God will bring you out of it. God will not leave you there. God will never forsake you. The Bible says the waters will not overcome you. The waters will not, you know, come over you, will not cover you. But God himself will, will fight for you. God himself will deliver you. So we know that persecution are not meant to, to kill us. God will give us strength because the Bible says uh, when you are weak, my strength is made perfect in weakness. So we know whenever we find ourselves that, you know, this, the problem that we are going to, the challenge that we are going to, things that look unbearable, the Bible says God himself will strengthen us. It will look like it's a tough situation, but yet God is there with you. Yet he's with you. Yet he's speaking to you. Yet he's working with you. Yet he's watching you. Yet he's, 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 he's telling you, hallelujah, to his word that, you know, be faithful to his word. God will be ministering to you. That be faithful. My daughter, I'm with you. I will never leave you or forsake you. Hallelujah. That is why it's very important for you and I. You know, with, regardless of what we go through, regardless of the situation we face, we have to meditate on the word of God day and night. Hallelujah. Because the word of God will become a light unto our path and a lamp unto our feet. We need the word of God every day of our lives. We need the word of God to be a, a direction unto our path. Hallelujah. So you and I, the word of God becomes a source of power to us. Hallelujah. It becomes a source of peace to us, a source of light to us. So you and I, it is very paramount that in, in the time of persecution, in the time of challenges, in a time of hardship, we focus our attention, our mindset, our very being on the word of God. Hallelujah. But I will say, then you will prosper. Joshua 1 8. But I will say, if you meditate on the word of God day and night, there is a, it's, it's a command. If you meditate on it day and night, the Bible says you prosper. You prosper. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter how things are looking. The Bible promises that you will prosper. It doesn't matter how things are looking. God, Bible says that you will prosper. Hallelujah. Because the Bible consistently tells us in his word, Romans chapter 8, 28, all things will work together for your good. It will seem as if you are going to challenges. It will seem as if you are going to de deny it. It will seem as if people are persecuting you. It will seem as if people are laughing at you. It will seem as if you are behind. But yet the Bible tells us all things will work together for your good. God will use the foolish things of the world to confront the wise. God will use those things that you might think that how can this be? How can I move forward? How can I, how can I come out of this? Bible says God is God. Hallelujah. God is God. That is why you have to trust him. It's not about your wisdom. If you look at things by your own natural mindset, that's what the Bible says. The unbeliever cannot evaluate the things of the spiritual. Hallelujah. Because they are carnal to him. Hallelujah. The carnal man have said in his heart that there is no God. Hallelujah. So you and I, we, we are believers when we know Jesus Christ. We know that it doesn't matter the problem that we go through. It doesn't matter the affliction. We know that God is with us. We know that God is a God of power. God is a, a, is a God that can do all things. He's a God of generation. Hallelujah. The Bible says he's a faithful God. He's a faithful God. So you and I, 
we, are, we, we, we have confidence, we have belief in our God, hallelujah, that he will never leave us nor forsake us, hallelujah. The Bible also tells us that when we go through persecution, we are purified, hallelujah. We are purified for, uh, for the endurance that we go through, through Christ Jesus. Revelation 6, 10 to 11, the Bible says, and they were given white robe and told to rest a little longer. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Our government to be white, as we're able to endure, as we're able to lean on God, as we're able to focus our strength on Him, knowing that we cannot do it, we cannot make it. It's not about our own, our own authority. We know that we move and have our being in Him. So if you and I, we move and have our being in Him, we know that God will fight for us. We know that He is able to save us, regardless of the challenges that you and I, we might go through. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Beloved, I'm hoping that somebody is blessed. Is blessed because as a child of God, you have to grow. You have to mature. You have to pass the test. You have to be found as a faithful uh, child of God. Faithful woman of God. Faithful uh, woman of God. Faithful man of God. Faithful child of God. You have to be found. God has to see you as a, a faithful person. God has to see that you can depend on him. God has to know that you don't throw in the child quickly. God has to to test you. A test comes upon you, your life to grow you, to know, to even make you, you know, that there's a scripture that I came upon. The Bible says in, in the scripture, uh, um, in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 3, 7. Hallelujah. The Bible says that, see, when we are tried, we, we, we also have the courage when we come out of that persecution and of that hardship. You know, we're able to encourage others. Hallelujah. We're able to have a different perspective when somebody is going through challenges, when someone is crying, when somebody is going through persecution, we are able to also comfort them according to 2 Corinthians chapter 1, 3 and 7. Hallelujah. Because we understand what the person is going through. We then in return, we offer those people hope. We offer them hope that look, you will not remain here. You are not going to be here. You are not going to remain here because God will bring you out. Hallelujah. 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 So, you see, when we go through issue, we are able to apply wisdom when we are dealing with other people's situation. When somebody is crying out, we are able to know that, you know, we have to apply wisdom, the knowledge of God. Concerning the person's situation, we are able to sympathize with them. We are able to agree with them. We are able to move with them. We are able to love them. We are able to come into one accord because we are the people of God. We are, we are one people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are God is love and we have to operate on that man. Hallelujah. So we are able to sympathize. We are able to work it with anyone going through affliction. To give them hope. To tell them, look, I went through that. I didn't remain there. God brought me out. God was able to deliver me. God was able to deliver me from the oppression, that confusion, that crisis, that torment, that, that, that uh, limitation. God was able to bring me out. So we're able to confine, we're able to give hope to other people. We're able to advise people. We're able to tell them to hold on. We're able to tell them that God is real. Hallelujah. We're able to share our testimony as a source of encouragement for them to stand strong in the things of God and their lifestyle, whatever they go through and whatever they encounter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beloved, let's turn the Bible to 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6. 2 Corinthians chapter, chapter 3, verse 6. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We give God the glory. We give God the glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Second Corinthians chapter 3. Second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 6. The Bible says, the Bible says in Second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 6, verse 6. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. The Bible says in verse 6. Who also made us sufficient as ministers of the new covenant? Not of the latter, but of spirit. For the latter kills, but the spirit gives life. Hallelujah. Beloved, we are talking about 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6. The Bible talks about the new covenant that we have in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We have a covenant in Jesus Christ. The Bible says that grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. John chapter 1, verse 7. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you know that through Jesus Christ, there is grace. There, there is the truth. The Holy Spirit has come upon us according to uh, the book of Acts chapter 2, 38. Hallelujah. We have the Spirit of the Lord upon us. We will know that we, we don't just act anyhow. Hallelujah. We don't act any, anyhow because we need the Spirit of the Lord in our life. 
This is Paul the Apostle speaking to us in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6, that when we walk in the Spirit, hallelujah, it is life and peace. When we walk in the Spirit, the Bible says we will not, we, we will not, uh, we will not, uh, hallelujah, we will, we will, we will not, uh, uh, how do you call it? We will not act anyhow. We will not make hasty decisions. Hallelujah. But you and I, when we take Jesus Christ, when we carry the cross of Jesus Christ, we are able to know that the Spirit of the Lord is what we have. The Spirit of the Lord will empower us. The Spirit of the Lord will usher us to another dimension, another level, another in a phase of life. Hallelujah. So we need the Spirit of the Lord in our lives. The Bible says in John chapter 6, 63, that it is not by might nor power. Hallelujah. John chapter 6, 63. That is the Bible says it is the Spirit that quicken. For the flesh profited not. The words that I speak to you, Jesus speaking, they are spirit and they are life. Hallelujah. So we, we need the Spirit of God. We need the word of God. The word of God, as we are faithful to the word of God, the Holy Ghost comes upon us. The Spirit of the Lord qualifies us. The Spirit of the Lord empowers us. The Spirit of the Lord leads us. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8 verse 2. The Bible says that for the law of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and of death. We know that because of Jesus Christ, because of the Spirit of the Lord upon us, we are free from bondage and of captivity. We are free from uh, evil accusation. We are free from sin. Hallelujah. You see, when you and I, we are in Christ Jesus, we are, we are going to test it. We are going to persecution. It doesn't mean we have sinned. Hallelujah. It doesn't mean we have sinned. We haven't sinned. Hallelujah. It's part of our growing. So the Bible tells us that, that we, we are free from the law of, of life. We, for the law of life in Christ Jesus has set you and I free from the law of sin and of death. Hallelujah. So we know that when we are going through persecution, it's not that we, we have sinned. Many people have concluded that when somebody goes through a situation, when somebody goes through challenges, then the person has sinned. No. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As a child of God, you must be tried. The fact that you are going to persecution means that you have done something wrong. The fact that you are going to challenges means that it doesn't mean that you are not walking according to righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I mean, there is challenge that people are not walking according to the word of God, according to the, the principles of the word of God. They are doing things by themselves. So then when something happens to them, they automatically know that because of the sin, because of what they are doing, that has caused a sin upon them. Hallelujah. But you and I, we know that when we walk as a true children of God, we know that the challenges that we face, the persecution that we face, it's not about the fact that, you know, we, we have sinned. Because we know that we have been, God has translated us from the power of darkness into his marvelous that we have crossed over from darkness into a new face of life hallelujah into his marvelous life so there is therefore condemnation in our life there's therefore no condemnation for those who believe in Christ Jesus we believe that God has uh, has covered that the light of God is upon us so whatever we go to is for our growth is for our, our maturity hallelujah for understanding the ways of God about which says in all your getting get wisdom Hallelujah. Get wisdom. Get wisdom. It says, uh, uh, get wisdom. Get wisdom. And get understanding. We need the wisdom of God. We need understanding into the word of God. So when you and I, we equip ourselves with the word of God, by meditating on the word of God day and night, we know that God is with us, regardless of what we go through. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 3, verse 3. The Bible tells us that, you know, we, we, are, we, are, we, are, we, we worship God in the spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus. For our confidence is not in the flesh. Hallelujah. Our confidence is not in the flesh. Hallelujah. When we are in Christ Jesus, we, we don't please, we don't please the flesh. We don't do things to please the flesh. We don't do things according to our own uh, mindset. We depend on the direction of God. We depend on the status of God. We depend on the word of God. So you and I, we know that regardless of what we face in life, our focus is on the word of God. Our mindset is on the word of God. It doesn't matter what is happening, but our focus still holds, hallelujah. Our faith still holds, hallelujah. Because the Bible tells us, you know, as a child of God, your faith should not dwell in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. It's not about what people are saying. It's not about the opinions of people, but your, your faith should be in God, hallelujah. It's not about the how people are operating, the mindset of people, the opinions of people, but it is about God being your life. It is about the spirit of God which is at work in your life, hallelujah. So we will not believe the flesh regardless of what we go to regardless of, of, of the persecution we go to our focus must be in God you and I we must enjoy knowing that we have not done anything 
We must enjoy knowing that it is a passing through. We must enjoy knowing that we are growing. We must enjoy knowing that God is uh, testing our faith. We must enjoy knowing that we, we have to be a stand tall. We have to also pass on to our children that this is what the Lord did. Hallelujah. We went through that. God was able to have to share a testimony. Hallelujah. So you and I, we have to stand tall and endure as a child of God and have shoulder, uh, hardship as a, a soldier for Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Beloved, if you and I, we are able to endure, we are able to know that Jesus is for us. If you and I, we are able to know that we have no sin. Hallelujah. David said in Psalm 23 verse 4, the Bible says, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Hallelujah. When you and I, we know, we know in ourselves, our heart, you know, we have, we have that conviction. If we know that we haven't done anything wrong, we have that belief that regardless of what we go through, David, David in the Bible was very confident of this. He said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Hallelujah. Regardless of the turbulence, regardless of the challenge, hallelujah, we, do, we don't have to fear. We do not have to fear. We have to lift. We have to lift our head high. Hallelujah! We have to move, knowing that our God is with us, regardless of the calamities, regardless of the shame, regardless of what is happening. God is with us. It will look as if you are not going to come up, but God is with you. Hallelujah! Psalm twenty-three, verse three says that He restores your soul. He restores your soul. He will guide you into the path of righteousness. Hallelujah! If you are still faithful. If you are meditating on the word of God, the spirit of the Lord will guide you into righteousness. The Bible says it is him that draws us to him. Hallelujah. We don't draw ourselves to God because it is him that draws us to him. Hallelujah. It is him that makes a way where there seems to be no way. It is God that makes us able. Hallelujah. He makes us to function. We can't function by our own. We can't even uh, draw close to him. Hallelujah. It is by the power of God. The Bible says he has predestined us from the beginning of the world. Ephesians, the book of Ephesians. The Bible says he has predestined us from the foundation of the world to become, to be called children of God. So you and I, we, we cannot do it without him. It is not by our even uh, mentality to, to know him. He draws us to him. God draws us to him. Hallelujah. So when you find yourself believing in God, this good news that we are talking about, you have to say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for drawing me to letting me know about the good news. Thank you, Jesus, for choosing me. Thank you, Jesus, for qualifying me. Thank you, Jesus, for forming me. Thank you, Jesus, that you thought of me from the very foundation of the world. You knew me. From the very foundation of the world, he had called you into existence. Hallelujah. Beloved, it's not by might nor by power. We know that the Lord will lead us. Hallelujah. It is him that will it. Hallelujah. It is the Lord that will it. It's not by our own intellectual. That is why the, the psalmist in, in the Bible, Psalm 27, said, Lord, is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I want? Hallelujah. If you know that it is God that leads you, it's God that empowers you, you know that he's the, he's the, he's the, it's your light and your salvation. Whom will you fear? If the Lord is your light and salvation, whom will you fear? Because he goes before you. The Bible says in him was light. The light was the life of men. The light shining in darkness. And darkness cannot comprehend it. You and now we know, we know. Hallelujah. The Lord is our light. The Bible says in him was, was no darkness. But the Bible tells us in 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, For this purpose, Christ Jesus was manifested to destroy the works of darkness, to destroy the works of the evil one. Hallelujah. So God is light. His purpose is for you to have your freedom. His purpose is for you to be victorious through the finished work of the cross. Hallelujah. Through what he has shed on the cross. Sickness cannot be your portion. Hallelujah. Calamity shall not be your portion. But child of God, you must be tried. Child of God, you must hold on. Child of God, you must know that God is for you, not against you. The fact that you are going to... So many people have concluded, how can I be a, a Christian and be going through that? Hallelujah, beloved. You see... You must be tried and tested. The word of God has been tried and tested. And you as a child of God, you must, you must prove. Hallelujah. You must prove yourself as a, a faithful child of God. In order for you to be able to, you know, to move to the next level, you have to, you have to let God be proud of you. The book of Job, the Bible says Job, God was so proud. Job chapter 1, hallelujah, verse 8. The Bible says God said to, God said to uh, the enemy, have you considered my, my servant Job? Hallelujah. God was boasting of Job. God was so happy of Job. 
Hallelujah. God was happy because he, God knew that when calamities come upon Job, Job will not train the towel. God was so confident in Job. He knew that when situation comes upon Job, Job will be able to stand. When, when the enemy throws uh, uh, stones at him, Job will be able to, to stand. It didn't matter what Job went to. God had confidence in Job. Beloved, there comes a time that God has to have confidence in you and I. Hallelujah. God has to test the whether we have matured. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us in the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 13, until we come to the unity of the faith in Christ Jesus. You and I, we have to come to that level of maturity in Christ Jesus. So we have to be tested. We have to know we can stand when, when the turbulence comes. We have to we have to prove to God, God, I am not moved by what you, I see. The Bible says you, we are not moved by what we see. We are not moved by the, the waves. Hallelujah. We are not moved by the situation. We are not moved by, by the persecution. We are not moved by the, the challenges, what the enemy is doing to us. Hallelujah. The calamities, uh, it looks as if you are, you are, you are not going anywhere but the bible says that don't be moved by what you see hallelujah hallelujah don't be moved by what you see hallelujah the bible says god will never leave you nor forsake you don't be moved by what you see Romans chapter 8 verse 28 all things will work together for your good don't be moved by what you see because the bible tells that he that is of god he that is born of god is able to overcome Hallelujah. If you are born of God, if you believe in Jesus Christ, 1 John chapter 5 verse 4, the Bible says, he that is born of God overcomes. So you know you are born of God. You are a child of God. You are born again. Hallelujah. The spirit of the Lord is upon you. You have the mindset of Christ. You have renewed your mind according to the book of Romans chapter Roman chapter 12. Hallelujah. The Bible says, verse 2, that renew your mind. Do not be conformed to the things of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. If you are transformed by the renewing of, of your mind, you know that God is for you. God is not against you. You know that it is not about what you are seeing. It is not about the persecution because you, this too will pass. Hallelujah. This too will pass. It will pass. It will pass. You are not meant to remain there. Beloved, we have to be the Bible says, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. You and I, we have to be strong in the Lord and the power of his mind that God is able to make a way where there seems to be no way. Matthew chapter 19, verse 26. The Bible says our God is able to make a way where there seems to be no way. So what is it? What is it that God cannot do? The Bible says his hand is not short that he cannot save. Hallelujah. He is not far that he cannot hear you. Hallelujah. God is able to hear. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 4, 13, that there is nothing hidden from him. All things are plain and naked before him. Beloved, our hope and trust must be in God. That our God will never leave us nor forsake us. For the Lord is our light and our salvation. God, which you bless you, people of God. Let's take a quick break and we'll come back. God, which you bless you. God, which you bless you. People on Facebook, God, which you bless you for watching. God, which you bless you. God, which you bless you. God, which you bless you. Thank you for watching. God, which you bless you. Beverly, Beverly, thank you for watching. Hallelujah. Kelly, Collie, thank you so much for watching. God, which you bless you for watching. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, which you bless you for watching. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're just taking a quick break. Thank you for watching. God, which he bless you for watching. Hallelujah. Please be kind enough to share. This is the good news. Hallelujah. Be kind enough to share. God, which he bless you. Be kind enough to share. God, which he bless you. Praise the Lord. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. People on Facebook, thank you so much for watching. Please be kind enough to take comment. Hallelujah. Be kind enough to take and comment and share. Let it be a blessing to somebody. God, which he bless you. God, which he bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. People of God, this is Manifestations of Judah Ministries International. This is a ministry of healing, of deliverance. We are based in London, Bakken. 
I want to encourage somebody, regardless of the sickness in your body, I want you to call this number. Hallelujah. I can tell you that I prayed for a woman with cancer. She called me online. I, I just prayed two minutes for her. She said, woman of God, I'm still feeling the pain. And I said, I've just prayed for you. She was still saying, oh, no, no, I've still I said, I've just prayed for you. Go and do checkup. Truly, truly, she went there and did the checkup. And the Lord has, uh, you know, the thing has dried up. Hallelujah. The cancer has dried up. This is what our God can do. Hallelujah. Beloved, we are people of God. This is the good news. Hallelujah. We are here to do the work of God. If you are feeling unwell, if you are having disease in your body, call this number and I'm here to pray with you. I'm here to intercede with you. I'm here to agree with you through the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says with him, all things are possible. So if there is anything that you are going through, that pain, hallelujah, that, uh, that uh, diagnosis, that the doctor, please call this number. I will, we will agree with you. This ministry, we pray and fast. We, 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 we agree with people through the name of Jesus Christ. And we believe that God can do all things. We believe that God is a God of the supernatural. We believe that you can be healed instantly through faith in his name. Hallelujah. So if you are going through that pain, if you are going through that, you know, thing that they've said, beloved, God is able to do all things. Hallelujah. Don't put limitation on God. Don't put limitation on God. Rise up in your faith. Rise up in your faith that God is able to touch him because there is nothing difficult that God cannot do. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Beloved, we have been talking about part two of enduring as the child of God. Hallelujah. We, we were talking about the fact that with God, all things are possible. We talked about uh, uh, David saying that the Lord is my light and my salvation. If the Lord is our light and our salvation, we don't fear. We will not. We will fear. Hallelujah. But the Bible reminds us in Psalm 34, Psalm 34 verse 19, that many are the affliction of the righteous and the Lord will deliver him from them all. So you and now, we are, we are being told in the Bible that problems will come. Hallelujah. Situation will arise. It will look uncomfortable. But the Lord promises us in his word that the Lord will deliver you from them all. Hallelujah. He will deliver you from them all. Hallelujah. The Bible also continues to tell us that we should rise up in our faith. Rise up and, and, and be a faithful child of God. Faithful people of God. Hallelujah. If you are able to do that, the glory of the Lord will be seen upon us. Hebrews chapter 10, 36. The Bible says you need to persevere. So that after you have done the will of God, you will receive what he, he has promised. Hallelujah. The will of God is to trust that he's able. The will of God is for you to know that he's a, he's a true God. He's a true God. The will of God is for you to know that he's able. Hallelujah. He can do all things. For you to know that he's a God of the heavens and the earth. He's the God that created the heavens and the earth into existence. The Bible says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. God was able to create. That same God is able to meet you at the point of your need. That same God is able to see you through. That same God is able to, to restore you. That same God is able to heal you. That same God is able to... To refine, regardless of what you go to, God can restore you. God can come through to your dark situation. But I want to tell somebody, hold on. Your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. If you think like man, you will be telling yourself, how can this be? How can I, how can I be healed? How can this be? How can I come out of this? How can things turn around? Hallelujah. But we serve a mighty God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a mighty God. Who is able to do all things. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Beloved, let's turn our Bible to the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 9. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is Paul the Apostle speaking in 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 9. The Bible says, For which I suffer hardship, even to imprisonment as a criminal. But the word of God is not imprisoned. Hallelujah. The Bible says, The further you are going through situation, the father you are going through persecution or the father you are enduring as a child of God. It doesn't mean that the word of God is bound. Hallelujah. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 9. The Bible says that by the word of God is not in prison. Hallelujah. Beloved, I'm here to tell somebody watching me 
that we live in a time of season. We have seasons and times. You and I, we have to know there is a season that we have to mature, a season that we have to go through stuff, a season that the glory of the Lord must be seen in our life, a season that we have to grow, a season that we have to endure, a, a season that we have to we have to let the fruit of the Spirit, the f- f- patience, long suffering, hallelujah. All these things have to be part of us. We have to develop self-control. You and I, if you are going to go through self, we have to develop self-control. Without, without problem, we cannot grow. Hallelujah. That is there. It was good that I was afflicted. Hallelujah. For it has made me to depend on your presence. Beloved, without, uh, without the word of God, without problem, without being a soldier of Christ, without enduring as a, a soldier of Christ, hallelujah, you cannot grow. You cannot develop the fruit of the Spirit. Hallelujah. The Bible says the fruit of the Spirit is patience. Hallelujah. Long suffering, self control. Hallelujah. And name them. Beloved, so you and I, we have to grow. We have to mature. The Bible says the word of God is not bad because God is God. He knows you. Hallelujah. He knows what he's doing. He says, Before I formed you, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. Before I formed you, I knew you. And I've called you as a prophet to the nation. God knew you when you were in your mother's womb. God has purpose that you be this, this, and that. But beloved, there's a process that you must go through. There's a there's a you have to grow through. You have to you have to understand the word of God. You have to understand the, the precepts of the word of God. You have to to know that the, the fruit of the spirit you have to grow hallelujah you have to mature hallelujah and so you have to endure as a child of god praise the lord praise the lord isaiah 55 11 the bible said the word of god will will not return to us void but it will accomplish its purpose if the word of god is being spoken that word of god will be fruitful if the word of god is being sent to your life that word of god will not return to you void the bible says it's accomplish its purpose hallelujah uh, the book of numbers 23 19 the bible said god is not a man that he should lie neither is he the son of man that he should repent had he said it, will he not do it? Our God is not man. Our God is faithful. The Bible says that he said it to, 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 the, to the sons. He says he said to uh, the children of Israel. Oh, children of Israel. Oh, sons of uh, Jacob. Hallelujah. You, you, fa- you fail. You change your mind. But I, the Lord, I change it not. I, the Lord, I change it not. God does not change. Hallelujah. His words chant. His words abide forever and evermore. The word of God that has been spoken into your life will come to pass. It doesn't matter how things are looking. It doesn't matter the suffering you are going through. It doesn't matter the calamities. It doesn't matter the challenges. The Bible says the word of God abides forever and ever. The Bible says those who look up at him, their face are radiant. It will look like we are going to situation. But people say, so you are looking beautiful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says he will keep you at perfect peace. It doesn't matter the challenges, yet the Lord is with you. It doesn't matter the persecution, yet the Lord is with you. It doesn't matter the limitation, the things that has become like a, a stumbling block. But God is with you. Beloved, I'm here to tell somebody, you must believe in God. You must believe in God because God is able. God is faithful. God is love. Hallelujah. God is love. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 1, 1 John chapter 1, hallelujah, 1 John chapter 4 verse 4, that he that lives in us is greater than he that lives in the world. God in us is greater than the opposition that you are facing. God in us is greater than the the things of this world. God is the the greater of the heaven and earth. The Bible says the earth is his foot too, the heavens are his throne. So our God is a mighty God. Our God is a unique God. Our God is the supremacy God. Hallelujah. The God of power. The God of generation. The Bible says his name is a memorial to all generations. He is the God of Abraham, of Isaac, of Jacob. Hallelujah. And he's able to do all things. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 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 Beloved, let's look at the word of God again. In the book of Hebrews chapter 5. Hebrews chapter 5. Verse 7 and 9. The Bible says, Who in the day of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplications with vehement cries and fears and tears to him, who was able to save him from death and was hurt because of his godly Fear, uh, godly fear, hallelujah. True, he true, though true, he was a son. Though he was a son, yet he learned obedience by the things he suffered. And having been perfected, 
He became the altar of eternal salvation to all who obey him. Hallelujah. Beloved, this is the word of God, Hebrew chapter 5, 7 to 9. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to open it and read it. Hallelujah. It talks about the, the, the endurance of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Bible says he himself, Jesus Christ, was able to endure. He was able to go through suffering. He was able to cry out. The Bible says uh, he cried out because of his very own. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 1, 12, he came into his own. His own rejected him. Hallelujah. He came into his people. His people rejected him. And he went to suffering. The Bible says his very being was, was disfigured. Hallelujah. The Bible says he was a man of sorrow. A man, a man of sorrow. A man acquainted with grief. Isaiah 53. Hallelujah. But the Bible tells us what we just read. That Jesus was able to endure. He was able to endure. He was able to, to, to walk in humility. He was able to have the, uh, to obey. Obedience was his uh, portion. Hallelujah. He was able to obey. He was able to perfect. Hallelujah. The things that, he, as the Bible said, and having been perfected through his suffering, the Bible said he was perfected. What he went to perfected him. What he went to made him uh, to be able to endure the cross. Hallelujah. What he went through, hallelujah, made him, the Bible says, to become the altar of life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He became the altar of eternal salvation to you and I. Because he endured the cross. And if this Jesus Christ was able to endure the cross, he went through pain, he went through suffering, he died, and yet the Bible says he rose again. To die, I'm here to tell somebody, regardless of that situation, you rise up again. Regardless of that calamity, you are not going to remain there. You rise up again. The Bible says Jesus went to suffering. Hallelujah. He, he died and he rose up again. So whatever that is dead in your life, beloved, you rise again. That thing will resurrect in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want you to know with God, all things are possible. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Jesus Christ himself went to suffering. Our Lord Jesus Christ, that's what the Bible tells us in the book of Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. The Bible says, uh, you know, the Bible says because of the joy that was shed before him, he endured the cross. You and now we have to endure. We have to endure that the Bible says our light affliction, which by for a moment, hallelujah, worketh for us a certainly uh, eternal glory for you and I. Hallelujah. It worketh for our greater things. A certainly, hallelujah, hallelujah. So you and I, we know that if Jesus Christ did not remain there, if Jesus Christ went through suffering, but yet he became the uh, altar of salvation for you and I, know that when we are able to endure, there is better, better things for us. There is better glory for us. There is better things that God has for you and I. Hallelujah. That's what the Bible consistently reminds you and I. The book of um, Jeremiah 29, 11. There's the plans I have for you is good and not evil. Hallelujah. To give you hope and to, be, to give you a future. The plan of God for you is good. It doesn't matter how it is looking. It doesn't matter the suffering. It doesn't matter the poverty. You will not remain dead. It doesn't matter the sickness. You will not remain dead. It doesn't matter the accusation. You will not remain dead. Beloved, I want to tell somebody you must endure as a, a child of God. You have to know that Jesus Christ had to go through a suffering. He had to, but at the end of it, the Bible says in Philippians chapter 2, 9, 10, 11, His name Jesus is exalted above every other name. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Beloved, there is a greater reward for you. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell somebody. I'm here to speak into somebody's life. Do not draw in the towel. Beloved, Beloved, you must be steadfast. You must be faithful in your work with God. Hallelujah. You must be unmovable. You must look up to God regardless of the, of the calamities, regardless of the challenge. Do not join in the towel. Hallelujah. Beloved, you see, the enemy is very carnal. We have a glory that is upon us. We have a special glory that is upon you and I. Hallelujah. And when we join the towel, when we, we, when we lose faith, Beloved, we give the enemy a chance in our lives. We make the enemy become, you know, to laugh at us because the plan of God is for you to succeed. It doesn't matter how things are looking, you will succeed. Hallelujah. Koshike bako kabasheke. Hallelujah. You will succeed. You must stand tall. Your faith should be in God, not in the wisdom of man. Lamentation chapter 5, verse 11. The Bible says in Lamentation 
chapter 5, 11. Hallelujah. Our fathers have sinned and they are no more. But we are reaping their iniquities. Hallelujah. See, there was times ago our, our fathers, they didn't have strong faith. They didn't believe in God. They sold their glory to the enemy. Hallelujah. So some of us, we are having to reap what the, our fathers are done because they couldn't stand in the faith of God. They couldn't look up to Jesus. They couldn't rely on the word of God. When they were confronted with challenges, they went and consulted uh, uh, other means and mediums and stuff that is a uh, uh, God that they don't have any power. Hallelujah. And they exchange their very glory. Hallelujah. The glory that God has given, they exchange it for peanuts. Hallelujah. Some of us, you know, our fathers, they, they didn't know God. They knew God, but whenever there was a problem, they had to consult somebody. They had to go and seek the face of a, a fetish priest or things that are not of God. Hallelujah. Ungodly uh, man, ungodly uh, artist. Hallelujah. And this, you know, the devil does not do anything for free. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of John 10, 10 he comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I want to tell somebody watching me, hold on to your faith. Hallelujah. The three Hebrew boys in the book of Daniel, they said, even if our God does not come, we will not join the tower. If our God does not come, we will not give up. Hallelujah. Beloved, you have to have the mentality. Hallelujah. That Christ in you is the hope of glory. Your hope is in Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what is happening. It doesn't matter the pain. It doesn't matter the poverty. It doesn't matter the persecution. It will look like you are behind. The Bible says that God is able to lift the lonely and lift them up to another dimension of power. Our God is a God of, of, of love. I want to tell you that God loves you. God loves you so much. Beloved, you must stand tall. Don't throw in the towel. Don't throw in the towel. It will look as if you are, you are somewhere that you are desperate. It will look as if that there is no hope coming through. Beloved, our God does not fail. Our God is not a man that will lie. Hold on to your faith. Hold on, don't throw in the towel to, to, to face this priest and idols that will not, they have no power, hallelujah, they, their power is temporary, it doesn't last, beloved, it doesn't last, I am telling you somebody that God is real, God is able to lift you up, God is able to make a way where there seems to be no way, God was able to pick David, hallelujah, First Samuel chapter 17, and we are told in the book of uh, Samuel that David was a, a person who was in the book. David was in the bush. Hallelujah. He was not regarded. Hallelujah. So they put him in the bush, in the wilderness, to look after sheep. Nobody regarded him. Nobody had faith that David could be among to uh, greatness in life. Hallelujah. But the Bible tells us that this same David was called from the bush. It doesn't matter where you are, whether you are under the table, whether you're on the chair, when your time comes, God will pull you out. Hallelujah. But we must go through the process. You must be a man or woman who is unmovable, a person of faith, a person that says, God, I love you. God, I love you. I'm faithful. I'm going to hold on to the end. The Bible says that the righteous will hold on to the end. You must hold on to the end. Beloved, you must hold on to the end. That God is a mighty God. And God can make a way where they seem to know it. It doesn't matter your age. The Bible tells us in the book of Romans chapter 4 verse 16 that he called those things which were not as if they were. God is able to call things which were are not and, to, and bring them to manifestation. God is able to make your body new. God is able to change your life one day. Hallelujah. The Bible says one day before God. Hallelujah. It's, it's mighty. It's mighty. One day your story will be changed. One day something great will happen. It doesn't matter. You are not meant to go through. You are not meant to remain there. You are just passing through. You are just walking through. I am here to tell somebody the word of God is true. The word of God is active and it is living. Hallelujah. And our faith must be in it. Beloved, I'm here to tell somebody, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't do um, the fetish spring. They don't have power. They don't have power. I tell you, they don't have power. In the name of Jesus, they don't have power. I'm telling you, you must hold it because when you go to this concert,
consult them. They, they take your glory. They take some because they know they don't know what is rightfully yours. They don't know, they don't know the scripture. Jesus said, set the scriptures, set the scriptures, and it is written of me. You have to set the scripture. The Bible says, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. You must change the word of God. The word of God is, uh, is power unto us. The word of God is a light. When you study the scripture, the scriptures is able to unveil things to you. The scripture is the prophetic eyes of God. Hallelujah. The scripture is able to speak to you. Regardless of, 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 of where you, uh, wh how things are uh, going, you still hear the, the voice of God in that situation. You must hold on to the word of For the word of God, the Bible says in, in the book of John 6, 63, that the word that I speak to their life and their spirit. It is spirit. You must hold on to it. Beloved, hold on to it at all costs. Hold on to it. Hallelujah. There is no other God anywhere. Our God is a mighty God. Hallelujah. He is the God of the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. He changed it. No. You must hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. Beloved, I want to tell someone, this is manifestations of Judah Ministries. Hallelujah. If you are not feeling well in your body, this is a ministry of healing, of deliverance. Call this number and I'll pray for you. Hallelujah. I have time to pray for you. So call now and I'll pray for you. Hallelujah. I've realized that as soon as I go off, a lot of people call me after, 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 after the, the session. Hallelujah. I want you to call now. Call now. Hallelujah. Because I, I, I will be one person praying for you. Hallelujah. I'm here and I'll be praying, taking calls. But you have to call so that I'll be able to pray for you right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Call when there is time. God, which he bless you. Beloved, I'm here encouraging somebody to, to endure as a child of God, hallelujah, to endure, to endure as a child of God. And here, the title of the message is Endure as a Child of God. We are preaching on part two. Next week, we'll preach part three. Hallelujah. God, which bless you. Who am I speaking to? Uh, Marine. Hello, Marine. How may I pray Hello. for you? Sorry? How may I pray for you? Listen, there is an evil spirit coming in my house. I just heard the house, a big band, the man just come in my house. Every night he come when he wants. And then he does give me blows in my head. He do a, he does move my head catchy on me. He use the toilet. He think the house is his. Okay. He's a witch. Mary, where are that you calling from? In my house. Don't worry, I'll pray for you. That demon is already gone in Jesus' name. Where, where are you calling from? I'm, I'm coming from Romford. Ramford, hallelujah, London Ramford. I'm praying for you, Marine, right now, okay? Yes. In Marie, the name of Marie. Jesus. Marine, Marie? Yes. Marie, okay. I'm praying for Marie. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray for Marie. I thank you that you love Marie. I thank you that you bought Marie with the, with the uh, precious blood of Jesus Christ from the, uh, of Nazareth. You bought him by your blood. You bought her by your blood. Father, you are redeemed her by your blood. Marie knows you in the name of Jesus. Father, Marie confesses you as your, your, uh, his, his Lord and personal Savior. True Christ Jesus, I pray right now, Lord, that Father, you head king to Marie tonight. You deliver her from every calamities. Every spiritual man, that spiritual man, that demonic uh, visitation, Lord, uh, I bind that demonic visitation by the blood of Jesus. I speak revelation. Revelation 12, 11. Revelation 12, the Bible says, and overcame the power, the enemy, Satan is called the power of the enemy by the blood of Jesus. And tonight I sprinkle the blood of Jesus. Marine, do you have, uh, uh, do you have, uh, do you have oil with you? Oil. Do you have anointing oil? Yes, I have some um, olive oil. Any oil would you just put it on your forehead for me? In the name of Jesus, put the oil on your head for you. I mark you with the blood of Jesus. From tonight, you are sealed with the blood of Jesus. From tonight, no weapon forged against you shall prosper. I sanctify your house with the blood of Jesus. The four corners of your house, I soak it into the blood of Jesus. I cover your windows, the doors, with the blood of Jesus. I break the power of the enemy. I destroy that covenant. I put it by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I destroy that demonic harassment, that demonic oppression. I lose you from them all. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.
Mary, I want you to check yourself. Thank God you, has just thank you, my sister. God has delivered you right now. So check yourself. Check yourself. The things that are not working is going to begin to function, begin to work, oh. begin to work, work around your house right now. Tell yourself, I've covered this house by the blood of Jesus. Begin to work for me. Begin to declare those words. Yeah, I'm I online. With the blood of no, Jesus. no, your house, your house, your house, your body, your, your your house. Begin to say it and go around the house. Go inside the house. Round. Go around for me. Go around for me. I'm on. Go around for me. Praise the Lord. The, just, just walk, walk. Just, don't worry. Just uh, uh, put it there and walk around the house, okay? I've already prayed for you. So God has touched you. Nothing will happen again. Mary, no. I'm on every Friday, okay? Next week, call me and uh, testify about how I you feel. I will ring you to tell you that. Your God which he bless you. The God has already destroyed that. That demon cannot touch you anymore, okay? Don't worry. So next week, uh, Friday, call. My time is up. I need to go, okay? God which he bless you. Beloved, this is manifestation of Judah ministry. I'm here preaching the good news, which is now Lord Jesus, that with God, all things are possible. We serve a mighty God who is able to do all things. I want to encourage somebody, do not train the child. For God is able to lift you up. You must know that he's able to, to glorify you. He's able to fulfill his plan concerning your life. God, which he bless you. If you don't know Jesus, say this after me. Lord Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me my sins. Watch me from all uh, condemnation, all sin. And accept me as your, as your child. If you have said that, say amen. You are saved. You are a child of God. You are born again. God, which he bless you. Hallelujah. Until I come your way next week. God, which you bless you. Bye bye for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. God bless you. Praise the Lord. People on Facebook, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. God, which you bless you. Be kind enough to share. Be kind enough to share. God, which you bless you. Be kind enough to share. Thank you so much for watching. Until I come your way, Facebook. Bye bye. Bye bye.